Hey guys, Tyler here, taking another step on the journey to Master Programmer. In the last video, I went over the design of the elementary gates. I left it to you to try and come up with the 16-bit versions. However, if you weren't able to figure those out, or if you want to check your work, I'll be presenting those in this video. So in this video, I'm going to be going over the NOT 16, the AND 16, the OR 16, and the MUX 16. The difference between the 16-bit gates and the elementary gates is that the 16-bit gates can operate on multi-bit buses of the length 16. So if I was to do a knot on a multi-bit bus of the length 16, it would flip each of those bits. For a simple example, let's say we have an in of 4 bits and we operate that on a not 4. If the input is going to be a 4-bit bus with the values of 0, 1, 1, 0, then the not 4 gate would output a bus with the values of 1, 0, 0, 1. The way this works is that you pass each bit of the bus into the gate that you're processing. So let's start with a NOT16 gate. Here we have the diagram for what a NOT16 gate would look like. You take the IN, which is a multi-bit bus with a length of 16, and you pass each bit into a NOT gate. You start by passing the bit at index 15 into the NOT gate. We'll do this for each bit, 14, 13, 12, 11, all the way down to 0. The reason you start at 15 is because 15 is the leftmost bit and 0 is the rightmost bit. All of the outputs from these knots will output to the corresponding index in the out. In at index 15 will pass through the NOT gate and be output to out at index 15. In at index 5 will be passed through a NOT gate and then output into out 5. These dots in the middle just mean that this repeats from in 15 all the way to in 0. I just don't want to have to write a whole bunch of lines. That would be confusing. That's the basics for the not 16. And we can go ahead and abstractify this, call it our not 16 gate, and only worry about the input and the output. I've gone ahead and added not 16 to our toolbox. Not 16 was pretty simple. You'll find that and 16 and or 16 are pretty simple as well. AND just operates on index 0 of A and index 0 of B and tests their AND and outputs them to index 0 of OUT and does that for each bit. Similar for OR. OR 16 doesn't mean that you're testing whether one of 16 values is true, just that you're testing whether one of two values is true 16 times. I want you to try to figure those out on your own, but what I will do is show MUX 16 since it's a little bit more confusing. MUX16 does take two 16-bit bus inputs, A16 and B of 16. However, it only takes a regular selector. It doesn't take a multi-bit bus selector. What that means is for each index that you use for passing A and B, such as index 0, passing that into a MUX gate, you will use selector for all of them. So MUX on the index of 0, MUX on the index of 5, MUX on the index of 15, is all going to use the same selector bit. As you can see, there will be 16 MUX gates, MUX from index 15 all the way to MUX of index 0. All of these MUX gates use the same selector bit, but will operate on different indexes of the A and B multi-bit buses. All of these gates output into one multi-bit bus with a length of 16 bits. So there we go, we can abstractify that. I call that our MUX 16. I've gone ahead and added all of the 16-bit variant gates to our toolbox. The 16-bit variant gates take a little bit of time to wrap your head around, but really they make a lot of sense. You're just going to be using multiple gates for as many bits as you need, and it helps group together related data. Now that we have the 16-bit variants, we can go ahead and go on to the multi-way variants. These are a little bit more complicated, but I'll be covering them in the next video. Thank you for watching and happy journey.